Welcome to our lecture online. Before we start analyzing the boat plot for each of the seven factors for a transfer function, let's take a look at a simple example. Let's say that we start out with a transfer function that looks like this. Now what we're going to do with this function is we're going to change it somewhat. We're going to change it by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 100 to make it look like that. Notice the number at the top, 1 over 100, is the constant, and the number down here is the pole. Now, in this case, there's only one pole, so we'll call it P sub 1. Notice that this is the standard format that we transfer the transfer function to in order to be able to draw the boat plot. Then later on, we'll show you more about what that standard form is and how to attain that standard form. At this point, just accept it that that's the standard form for making boat plots. Now, first we're going to look at the factor called the constant gain. We'll call that k. And so we'll call it g sub k, which is simply 20 times the log of k. Now in this case, k is 1 over 100, which is 0 0.01. The log of 0 0.01 is minus 2. Minus 2 times 20 is minus 40 dB. So if we're going to draw a boat plot of just the constant gain alone, we get this red line right here at minus 40 dB. Now notice this here is a transfer function. This here is the magnitude in dB. And notice that the constant term gives us a minus 40 dB in the transfer function. But then we also have the simple pole, the simple pole P1. And so we attain that, we attain the, the gain by, by having minus 20 times the log of this portion of the transfer function. So we have 1 over P times J omega. Now notice for values where omega is smaller than P1, omega divided by P1, if this is smaller than 1, that gives us a very small amount. So we can say that basically we take the log of 1, which is 0, so it would be 0 for all values of omega smaller than P1. Notice in this case P1 is equal to 50. But then for values greater than P1, if omega becomes greater than P1, we then have a negative slope of minus 20 dB per decade for any values where omega is greater than P1. So we find the value P1 at 50, and then we realize we have a negative slope, well, I'm right here, negative slope for, um, for values of omega that are greater than 50. So here is the omega. All right. Now... The blue line is the boat plot for the simple pole. The red line is the boat plot for the constant. If we now graphically add the two together, we get the black line right here. And this is the boat plot of the complete transfer function that includes the simple pole and the constant gain. Now notice that for all simple poles, we will always get a minus 20 dB per decade. The only difference is where that start. Where that start is determined by the value right here, by the value of P1. In this case, P1 was equal to 50. That's where the slope begins prior to omega being equal to uh, 50. Then you have zero slope, we just simply call it zero. And so there's really no effect to the boat plot until omega hits that value equal to the simple pole. And then the minus 20 dB slope begins. You'll begin to see that boat plots are actually really easy, where we, e even, where we either have a plus 20 dB for zeros or a minus 20 dB for poles, and where that starts depends upon the value of this function in the standard form. So you may not completely understand what we just did. You might kind of get a feel for, hmm, that's kind of interesting and strange. We will systematically guide you through every one of the seven factors, and then we'll show you some examples where we combine all of them, and you can see how we do that. Again, it's all about taking the transfer function, changing it into standard form. We'll show you how to do that. Identify which items of the seven factors we have. In this case, we have two of them, the constant gain and the simple pole. For the constant gain, this is what the transfer function looks like on the boat plot. For the simple pole, that's what the boat plot looks like. So we have the constant gain, we have the pole 1, we combine the two, and the black line, black line represents the boat plot of the two combined, which is what we're ultimately looking for. And so the boat plot representation of this transfer function is represented by that black line. And so at least that gives you something to look at, something to kind of 
hmm, digest and say, okay, I think I kind of see what that means. Now we're going to systematically go through the process of completely making it clear what the boat plot does for us, how to find the boat plot for each of the seven factors, and then how to combine them into a single boat plot for any transfer function they can throw at us. Well, almost any transfer function. And that is how it's done.